Okay, hey guys, what's up everyone? It's uh, it's Speed Racer of Speed Racer 456 Feed Productions coming to you with another KO Transformers video review and today we shall be looking at KO Towline. Uh, just like the KO Optimus Prime mold before it, this was actually used as an official mold for uh, Transformers um, Robots in Disguise, or Transformers Car Robots as it was known as in Japan. This was actually um, originally known as Towline, except the colour scheme was completely different. It had basically the same colour scheme as the Mystery Machine from Scooby-Doo, if you can even believe that. But, uh, but yeah, uh, the KO version comes in a very, very nice red uh, with with the flame decal, and it's very, very hard to see, but the blue in the cab is sort of like piping. Depends how you want to look at it. Uh, the accessories it comes with is this huge yellow translucent gun, including a missile that you're supposed to, that you can apparently launch. You pull the trigger and all it does is slump. But yeah, uh, here's the missile itself that it comes with. And it's a very, very nice missile. Um, in comparison, give me a minute. Mm, great, the gun's gone flying off somewhere down the, down the, uh, the laptop keyboard. Uh, here's the missile that Knockoff Jetfire came with. And here's the missile that uh, the KO tow line came with. I would say they're roughly about the same height, if anything. But yeah. Uh, so I'll just put Jetfire's missile off to the side for a minute. Uh, here's the gun that uh, that comes with tow line, and it's again keeping up the trend of uh, translucent weaponry. And it's very, very nice. It is very, very nice. There is a spring in there that you can apparently use to launch the missile, but the spring isn't sprung. If you laughed at that, thanks for doing so. That's probably the worst joke I've said in any of my videos. Just reattaching the, uh, the gun to the missile. But uh, on to tow line. Uh, so yeah, so uh, so that's transforming. Basically, what you do is you just take his toe arm, detach it from the inner of the trailer bed, and pull it up. Then the arms are on two um, are on cog swivel joints. I don't know if you can see that. This arm uh, does tend to get jammed. And uh, and yeah, that is Ko Toe Line in uh, in robot mode. Sad but true. Um, fun fact about the original uh, Toe Line figure. I guess I should have showed this off when he was in vehicle mode. So I'll just transform him back really quickly. Ta da! <laughs> the uh, the grill could be slid out, and I don't know if you can see, oop, visible head syndrome, but here, there are two small clips, now what those clips used to hold was, um, was a rifle, was a rifle barrel, so basically you'd just detach the grill, and he'd be able to hold it as his gun, or with this being a KO figure, they decided to literally knock that idea on the head, in a matter of speaking, and include it with a gun that's just way too far out of scale with him, in my personal opinion. But, uh, but yeah, he, he can hold the gun, and it just sits there in his hand quite snugly. It's like, yeah. Uh, so articulation wise as you can as you can see or as you already just saw he does have articulation in the shoulder courtesy of a pin joint uh, the arm can also go out of the shoulder courtesy of a pin joint uh, the arm from the elbow downward is on a ball joint 
so yeah, but because of the crappy quality of it, it only just allows you to make the, uh, the lower part of the arm do a 360 with it feeling as if it's about to break, which kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, the legs can be detached from one another, and they can go... They can go forwards at the thigh, uh, they can go backwards at the thigh, but uh, but just like with KO Optimus and KO Jetfire, they do suffer the, uh, he does suffer the same problem. Um, he's got knee articulation on a screw joint, and his legs can go backwards and, and forwards at the knee. I, I actually don't know why they need that. But, uh, but anyway, and his legs can sort of go out, but they do get hindered by um, by the arm. But if you obviously if you pull the arm all the way back, well not all the way back, but you know what I mean. The um, the leg can go all the way out, and uh, and his head, which is just all translucent blue, don't know if you can see that, but it is all translucent blue, sort of. Uh, it is on a ball joint, but every time you try to move it, it feels as if it's going to get dislocated out of place. It just feels as if it's going to shoot forward. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. That's exactly what I mean, and it's an absolute bugger to get back on. Ah, hang on, I think I've managed to... Forget it, I'll just put it back on when he's in vehicle mode. But, uh, but yeah, and then to transform him back, you just take the crane arm, rotate it down, and it clips into place in this groove here. And just take the arms, fold those in, and there is KO toe line back in his vehicle mode. Uh, let me just see if I can reattach the head on this goddamn awful ball joint. Stay. Good. But, uh, but yeah, uh, overall, I actually think that this is uh, arguably the worst KO figure that I own, and thankfully I only own four um, uh, KO Transformers figures. Uh, would I recommend picking him up? Well, if you're a big fan of Towline, which I can tell you right off the bat, I'm not. Seeing as he's only been mentioned like once or twice. Uh, I wouldn't pick it up. And in fact, I'm actually regretting picking it up. Um, however, if you do see the, uh, the original one in its... Um, R.I.D. or Transformers Car Robots uh, color scheme, and yes, Car Robots was uh, the name of Transformers Robots in Disguise over in Japan. Uh, I would highly recommend picking up the original release of this figure with the uh, with the grill blaster, not this stupidly overcast and oversized. Uh, piece of translucent trash. So, uh, so yeah, uh, next time is actually going to be, uh, the last KO Transformers figure review. Uh, it's going to be of KO Mirage. So until then, folks, this has been Speed Racer of Speed Racer 456V Productions, saying thank you for watching, goodbye.